Right, today's going to be a pretty fairly straightforward class. We will set up, we'll start warming up, and then we'll do some flowing and grab a cat. We'll do some cat cow. And um, then we will come into two back bends, all right? Uh, called bow and upward facing bow or otherwise known as wheel so to come into these back bends it's very important to engage the legs and specifically for upward facing bow to engage the shoulders so we're going to work on opening up the shoulders and strengthening those parts of the body that we need to activate to come into the full expression of Urdhva Danyurasana, upward facing bow, otherwise known as wheel. Okay, I've got myself two nerds over here, these ginger nerds. They're very cute little boys. Um, okay, so let's get started and we'll begin with a little bit of pranayama. Stacking your head over your heart, your heart over your pelvis, close your eyes. Hey, you're on camera, Let's behave yourselves. The public is watching. Come here, you've got fur in your mouth, come here. Hey, come here. There you go. We'll begin and end with the sound of this bell. Okay, just one more time, a reminder to mute the microphone on your side so that no background noises come. And, and we can have zero interruptions. Okay. So, close your eyes. Pull the navel in. Shoulder blades together and down the back. Okay. And we'll start with a bit of Samavriti. Right, I'm just going to head, go ahead and uh, mute everybody's microphones. Okay, so. Focusing on the natural ebb and flow of your breath at this time. On an inhale, you'll count one, two, three, four, pause. And on an exhale, count all the way to four again. One, two, three, four. Inhale, count four. Two, three, four. Pause out. One, two, three, four. In, count four. Three, four. Pause out. Nose. One, two, three, four. Carry on, do a few more rounds in your own pace. Growing tall through the spine. Now let's change the flow of our breath to Ujjayi. As we breathe into the nose, direct the breath into the belly, and then from that point, create the shape of a triangle 
all the way up to the two shoulders and exhale out the nose maintain the triangular shape in the torso if you'd like to continue with the samavriti and the ujjayi together that will be really good out one two three four in and counting out one two three four continue Bring your palms together, thumbs at the heart, growing tall through the spine. If you have an intention, if you're working with an affirmation or a mantra, or you would like to dedicate this time on the mat, do so silently to yourself or if you feel very comfortable saying these things out loud, they have a lot more power as well that way. Exhale, release the hands down, you can blink the eyes open, come to your hands and knees. Let's do a few rounds of cat-cow. Okay, wrists underneath the shoulders, knees directly underneath the hips. When you look between your knees, you cannot see your feet. Okay, long straight spine, inhale, drop the belly, looking forward and up, exhale, start from the tail, curl your spine up, take your time, vertebra by vertebra, let the head come down last, pull the navel in, slight bend in the elbows, inhale, drop the belly, curling the spine down, let the head come up last, exhale, start from the tail, curl your spine up. Slight bend in the elbows, navel to spine, chin to chest. Two more rounds like this. Inhale, drop the belly. Head comes up last. Start at the tail, curl your spine, vertebra by vertebra. As the head comes down, navel to spine and chin to chest. One more time. Inhale, drop the belly. Let the head come up last. Looking up. Exhale, start from the tail, long wave, curling the spine, head comes down last, navel to spine. And inhale, come to a neutral spine. Bring the big toes to touch, open the knees a little wider, sit back onto the heels, walk the hands forward, finding length through the spine as you do so, melting down for five rounds in child's pose. On an exhale, carve a line with your nose, looking forward, walk your hands back just a bit. 
and keeping the, the knees and the feet exactly where they are, come up off the hips. So we're in this wide-legged tabletop and we're going to take a twist and then thread the needle starting with the right side, left hand down, inhale sweep the right hand up, looking up at the thumb and exhale release, bring it in and through behind the left wrist, bring your right ear to the ground, reach as far as you can with the right hand, walk your left hand up, for a bit more of a stretch here, take three rounds of breath. One more in. Bring the left hand in front of your face and exhale. Press into the left hand to lift the chest and head up. Place the right hand underneath the shoulder. Let's do the other side. Inhale, sweep the left hand up. Look up at your hand. Exhale, release. Bring it in and through behind the right wrist. Reach with the left hand as much as you can. Left ear to the earth. Three rounds here. Walk the right hand up. Two more. And bring the, hand in, the right hand in front of your face and exhale, press through the right hand, lift up the chest and head. <clears throat> okay, bring your knees underneath the hips. Bring the knees underneath the hips, open the feet, and we're going to come into puppy posture, puppy pose, anahatasana, heart to earth pose, and in this pose, the hips stay directly stacked on top of the knees. Okay, so here we are in tabletop, breathe in, and as you exhale, slowly walk your hands forward, keeping the hips exactly where they are. Letting the head come down to the mat or even the heart come back, coming down to the mat. If that's inaccessible to you, bring a block under the heart or a book. And let's spend 10 rounds of breath here. If your shoulders are tight, maybe you widen the distance between your hands. This is quite a deep... An effective heart opener, especially helpful for us when we start on our backs and then press up, sending our hearts up into the air, bending our backs in a strong pose like wheel. It's good to open up the shoulders, makes the peak pose a lot more accessible. Slow your breathing. Let's take the last three rounds. Last round in. And engaging the hands, pressing them back, walk your hands back towards your knees, lifting up the head and the chest. Bring the hands directly underneath the shoulders. Preparing to go to downward facing dog. Extend both feet back. Come to this plank and remember from plank into downward facing dog, our hands and feet stay in exactly the same place. If you move your feet and you know who you might be, I know who you are, um, please remember that maybe you might not be getting as much length in your spine if you do that. Bend the knees, breathe in, pull the navel in, and exhale, send the root of your legs up and back to downward facing dog. Pedal the feet, let's take 10 rounds of breath here. Navel into the spine, find length through the spine, walk 
your feet. Let's take the last four rounds, press into your fingertips. Find stillness for the last two rounds. Looking at your feet, pulling your navel in. Last round in. And exhale, put your knees down. Bring the big toes to touch. Open your knees a little wider. Sit back, take a child's pose. From here you can swim your hands around to your feet. Just rest a minute here, a second, sorry, not really a minute, we're not going to be here very long. Last round in, and exhale, carve a line with your nose, looking forward, come up off the heels, bring your knees under the hips, and make your way back to downward facing dog, extend the legs back. Bend the knees, navel in, exhale, root of the legs up and back, downward facing dog for one minute. Whew. Maybe you widen your feet away from each other, not away from the hands. I guess many teachers, it really depends on their style and how, I guess, like, pure they are about yoga and alignment and stuff but there is no absolute fixed rules for yoga because here we are bending our bodies and our minds a bit so maybe the whole practice of yoga is to bend it all a bit and find expression in different shapes Take a last long deep breath in and exhale, walk your feet to meet your hands. Standing forward, fold Uttanasana. Inhale, okay let's hang out here for a second, opening up the spine, hold on to the elbows if you like. And a deep breath out the mouth. Three more like this, in the nose. Deep breath out the mouth. Two more. And out the mouth. Sigh. If you sigh it out even. Last one. And out the mouth. Release the hands and inhale. Drill your heels down. Tuck the tail. Stack your spine. Roll your way up to standing, squeeze the, ear, the shoulders up to your ears, and, and exhale down the back, mountain pose. Great. Good stuff. Okay, let's get started on some flowing. Outside of the feet are parallel, navel to spine, heart rising, shoulder blades down the back, flex your fingers, breathe in, and out. Inhale, root of the arms up into the air, looking up, navel in. Exhale, dive down the midline. Uttanasana, standing forward fold. Inhale, heart to the horizon. Shoulder blades together, back of the neck nice and flat. Look straight down. Grow away from your tail. Remember this pose and all the constituent little movements and elements of it. And exhale, fold down. Inhale, plant the hands and step the feet back to plank. First chaturanga of the day. Make sure there's nice space for your hands. Shift your weight forward as you exhale. You can also do this from half plank with the knees down. Shift, hover for a second, then lower down all the way to the ground. We're not doing upward dog just yet. We're all doing cobra first. Okay, feet press down, hips press down, shoulder blades together down the back. Hands under the shoulders. Inhale, rise up. Wiggle your fingers, 
Exhale, release. Tuck the toes, lift the knees, lift the belly button. Inhale, push up to plank. And exhale, root of the legs up and back. Downward facing dog. Breathe in. And exhale, walk your feet to meet your hands. Try and roll through the whole foot. Inhale, send your heart to the horizon. Shoulder blades together, grow away from your tail. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, press the feet down, tuck the tail, stack the spine, root of the arms up into the air, look up, navel in. Exhale, hands by the side, Tadasana, mountain pose. Okay, here we go. Inhale, root of the leg, root of the arms up. Exhale, down the midline, dive down. Inhale, heart to horizon, shoulder blades together, grow long. Exhale, fold down. Plant the hands, inhale, step back to plank. And from half plank, if you like, chaturanga, shift your weight forward, keep the elbows on top of the wrist, spike your heels away and all the way to the ground. Press the feet down, hips press down, hands under the shoulders, elbows pull back, shoulder blades pull back. Inhale, rise up. Okay, you can press into your hands just a bit to give yourself a bit of a lift. And exhale, release. Tuck the toes, lift the knees, lift the belly button. Inhale, push up to plank. And exhale, root of the legs up and back. Downward facing dog. Bring the big toes to touch. Inhale, sweep the right leg up, three-legged dog. Think up and over as you exhale, right knee to right elbow. Look forward, navel in. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to left elbow, navel in, look forward. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee to nose. Press away from the mat, inhale, three-legged dog. And exhale, bend the knee in and through. Plant the right toes next to the right thumb. Put the left knee down, preparing for Anjanayasana. Press the feet down, pull the navel in, inhale, rise up. Five rounds here, breathe in, and on an exhale, drop the hands behind you. Remember which thumb is on top, shine your heart. Three more rounds here. Let your hips sink a bit. Let the earth pull this big fist that you've made with your hands down. Last round in, and exhale, release the hands. Send them up and then down. Plant the hands, tuck the toes, lift the knee. Inhale, send the right foot back to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Shift your weight forward, spike the heels, hover for a second, then lower down all the way to the ground. Hands under the shoulders, feet press down, hips press down. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, release. Tuck the toes, lift the knees, belly button. Inhale, push up to plank. And exhale, root of the legs up and back. Downward facing dog. Three rounds here. Two more. In. Exhale, bring the big toes to touch. Inhale, left foot up. And exhale, up and over. Left knee to left elbow. Look forward, navel in. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. Look forward, navel in. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee to nose. Press away from the mat. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the knee and then through. Plant the left toes next to the left thumb. Put the right knee down. Untuck the toes, preparing for Anjaneyasana. Press the feet down. Inhale, rise up. Root of the arms up and back and down behind you opposite thumb on top so let the hips sink a bit shine your heart let the earth pull this fist down two more rounds in and exhale release the hands and then up and then down, plant the hands, tuck the toes, lift the knees, inhale, step the left foot back to plank. 
Exhale, chaturanga practice as you shift your weight forward, navel in, spike the heels, hover for a second. Now choose your vinyasa, cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, root of the legs up and back, downward facing dog. Two rounds. In and exhale, walk your feet to meet your hands. Standing forward fold, inhale, send your heart to the horizon, shoulder blades come together, growing away from the tail, exhale, fold down. Inhale, press the feet down, tuck the tail, stack the spine, let the head come up last, followed by the root of your arms, looking up, navel in, exhale, hands down to the side, mountain pose. Okay, feel free to take a child's pose any time during the practice. Okay, yoga is not really one of those uh, no pain, no gain type vibes, so we're all right. Okay, let's continue. Find a moment of stillness here in mountain, navel in, rising. Maybe you lift your toes. Okay, here we go. Inhale, root of the arms up. Exhale, dive down the midline. Inhale, heart to the horizon. Halfway lift, exhale, fold down. Plant the hands, inhale, step the right foot back, the left foot back, and chaturanga practice, shift your weight forward. Hover for a second, choose your vinyasa, inhale, cobra or upward facing dog, shoulder blades together down the back. Exhale, root of the legs up and back, downward facing dog. Bring the big toes to touch, and inhale, right leg up. Exhale, bend the knee in and through, plant the toes next to the thumb, left knee down, untuck the toes, press through the feet, rise up, inhale, Anjaneyasana, drop the hands behind you, opposite thumb on top again, fist pressed, pulls down, is pulled down by the earth, and three more rounds here. Last two. And on an exhale, release the hands up and down. Tuck the toes, lift the knee. Going straight into high lunge. Press the feet down, pull the navel in so much that you can pick your hands up off the earth. And inhale, rise up to high lunge. Ashta Chandrasana. Maybe you need to sink into your front knee a bit. Make sure your knee is on top of the ankle. Ooh. Press your feet down, two more rounds here. In, and exhale, dive down. Inhale, step the right foot back to plank. Chaturanga practice, shift your weight forward, hover for a second. Keep everything into the midline and choose your vinyasa to inhale. Cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, root of the legs up and back. Downward facing dog. Take two rounds. And on an exhale, bring the big toes to touch. Inhale, left foot up, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the knee in and through. Plant the left toes next to the left thumb. Put the right knee down, knee on top of the ankle. Untuck the toes, preparing for Anjaneyasana. Press through the feet and the navel. Inhale as you rise up. And drop the hands behind you. Opposite thumb on top again. Earth pulls that fist down, let your hips sink forward. Three rounds. Last one in. Exhale, release the hands up and down. Tuck the toes, lift the knee. Straight into high lunge, press the feet down, engage the navel. So much that you lift your fingers up off the ground, grow long through the spine, and inhale, send the root of your arms forward and up. Press the feet down, navel to spine, shoulder blades down the back. Maybe you sink into the front knee a bit. Maybe you send your back knee up into the sky a bit. Take two more rounds here. Last one in. 
and exhale, dive down to release. Inhale, step the left foot back, plank pose, chaturanga practice as you shift your weight forward. Hover for a second, then choose your vinyasa, cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale, release, tuck the toes, lift the knee, lift the belly button. Inhale, push up to plank. Exhale, root of the legs, up and back, downward facing dog. Look at your feet, five rounds. Last two. Last one in. And exhale, walk the feet to meet the hands. Standing forward, fold Uttanasana. Inhale, heart to the horizon. Grow away from the tail. Remember, the shoulder blades must squeeze together over here. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, press the feet down, tuck the tail, stack the spine. Roots of the arms up into the air. Looking up, navel in. Exhale, hands down to the side. Mountain pose. Okay, let's give you a quick minute to maybe get a breath, take a sip of water, fix your clothes before we jump into the last bit and then we'll cool down. Okay, big inhale, out the mouth. Okay, let's start at the front of the mat, back in mountain pose, outside of the feet are parallel navel in, draw the heels down, heart rising, shoulder blades together down the back, flex your fingers, grow tall, here we go, inhale, sit down, root of the arms up, into chair pose, look straight ahead of you on the ground, like a meter, a meter and a half, exhale, fold down, Inhale, heart to the horizon, halfway left. Exhale, fold down again. Plant the hands, step back to plank. Prepare for chaturanga, shift your weight forward. Navel to spine, spike the heels, hover for a second. Choose your vinyasa, inhale. Cobra, upward facing dog, shoulder blades together down the back. Exhale, root of the legs up and back, downward facing dog. Okay, here we go. Big toes touch, inhale, right foot up, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the knee in and through, plant the right toes next to the right thumb. Straight to high lunge, press the feet down, navel in, inhale, root of the arms forward and up. High lunge. Okay, we got four more rounds here, let's take a twist. Inhale, and dial your heart to the right. Navel to spine, shoulder blades down the back. Two more rounds here. In. Exhale, drop the right hand, send it back up into the air with the left, and exhale, dive down. Plant the hands. Inhale, right foot back. Chaturanga practice. Shift your weight forward. Navel in. Hover for a second. Inhale, choose your vinyasa. Exhale, root of the legs up and back. Downward facing dog. Let's keep going. Bring the big toes together and inhale, left foot up, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the knee, bring it in and through, plant the toes next to the thumb. Straight to high lunge, press the feet down, navel into the spine. Inhale, rise up. Maybe you need to fix your knee. It's not as bent as it needs to be. Breathe in and dial your heart to the left towards the bent knee in this twist here. Shoulder blades down your back. Two rounds. Reach with the hands, grow tall, last one in. Exhale, drop the left hand down to come up and all the way down to the earth. Send the left foot back to plank. Last chaturanga, shift your weight forward for this one. Hold it for a second, inhale, choose your vinyasa. Exhale, roots of the legs up and back, downward dog. Okay, 
Okay, let's take a child's pose. Put your knees down. You can bring the big toes to touch. You can keep your knees together, slightly apart, like hip width distance apart, or as wide as the mat. Choose your child's pose. Sit back on the heels, melt down, bring the forehead to the mat. Maybe you keep your arms extended or you swim them around to the feet. Five rounds here. Last round here. And let's come out of the child's pose. Look forward with the nose. Come up off the heels. Tuck the toes under and make your way to downward facing dog. Root of the legs go up and back. Breathe in. And exhale. Walk your feet to meet your hands. Standing forward fold. Inhale, heart to the horizon. Andha Uttanasana, halfway lift, exhale, fold down. Straight to chair, inhale as you sit down, sweep the roots of your arms forward and up, shoulder blades down the back actively. And exhale, stand up, bring the hands down to the sides, mountain pose, Tadasana. Good, bend your knees, sit down, flat, Keep your feet where they are and lie down flat on your back. We're going to take a few bridge flows and then we'll do up, we'll do regular bow first. Okay. <clears throat> Hug your knees into your chest. Place your feet down. Make sure you can touch the back of your heel. Make sure your lower back is nice and flat before we start. Breathe in. Exhale, push your feet down, send the hips forward and up, send the hands up and over the head, chest to chin, chin to sky, breathe in when your hands touch the ground, exhale, roll your spine down, vertebra by vertebra, hands come back down at the same time, hips and hands meet the ground simultaneously. Two more like this, breathe in. Exhale, press the feet down, hips go forward and up, hands go up and over, chest to chin, chin to sky. Breathe in when your hands touch the ground above the head, and exhale, roll down. Good, one more. Breathe in. Exhale, push your feet down, very important. Then send the hips forward and up, send the hands up and over. Chest to chin and chin to sky. Breathe in when you touch the earth. And exhale. Slowly roll your way down. Hands and hips touch at the same time. This time we'll hold bridge but keep our hands on the earth. Make sure you still can touch your heels. Breathe in. And exhale. Press through the feet. Keep the hands pressing down. Send your chest to your chin and your chin to the sky. If you want to interlace the hands underneath the body, that's fine, and press that down as well. Take a few more rounds here. Do not turn your neck in this pose. If you're feeling adventurous, you can extend one leg right up into the air. And alternate, maybe you send the other one. Release, take one run in. Exhale, release the hands, slowly roll down onto the back. Great. Good. So, from here, let's lie flat on our stomachs. <clears throat> Hips pressing down. <clears throat> Bend your knees. Grab onto your ankles with the hands. Okay. If you can't reach, maybe get a strap around each ankle and use that to help you. Or a belt. Flex the feet. Okay. Shoulder blades together down the back. Breathe in. And as you exhale, let your feet pull your hands 
to pull the chest, shoulder blades down the back. This is Dhanurasana, bow pose. Make sure you can breathe nice and easy. Maybe you look down at the mat or you look ahead of you. Keep pulling with the feet and legs. Last run in. Exhale, release slowly down. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Release the legs. Bring the hands under the head. Stack them. Take a breather here. One more in. And let's release. Let's come out of here and let's do this one more time. Grab onto those feet, the ankles or the shins. Flex the toes and feet away. Breathe in. Shoulder blades down the back. Inhale, press the feet away to lift up the chest. Make sure you can breathe nice and easy here. Last one in. Exhale, release slowly. Ooh, great stuff. Swim the hands around, push up to plank, and make your way to stand at the front of the mat. Actually, first, let's have a seat in Sukhasana. Let's just have a quick seat, straighten up the spine. Before we stand up, sit down. Let's just have a quick seat over here. Inhale, find length of the spine. Exhale, let's twist to the right. Left hand to right knee, right fingertips behind you. Inhale, find length. Exhale, journey to the twist with the chin. One more time like this. Inhale, find length. Exhale, journey to the twist. Great. Inhale, find length. And release on an exhale. Let's do the other side. Inhale, find length of the spine. Exhale, dial your heart to the left. Right hand to left knee. Fingertips behind you. Inhale, find length. Exhale, journey to the twist with the chin. One more here. Inhale. Exhale, journey. Inhale, front length. Exhale, release. Okay. Right. So, I want to get one more sun salutation in. Another back bend, and then we'll cool down. That's my plan. So let's stand at the front of the mat. Let's do... One more sun salutation, then we'll do wheel. Okay, maybe you're feeling a bit of compression here in the back, that's natural, where we do back bends. Okay, we'll get this out after we finish. But if it's painful, maybe lie on your back. It shouldn't be painful, I hope not, but if you are experiencing something like that, lie on your back, keep it nice and flat. Maybe pull your knees into your chest and rest there for a bit but I don't think that's the case for any of you. So, <clears throat> outside of the feet are parallel, navel to spine, draw the heels, find length, hands to the sides. Inhale, sit down, root of the arms up, chair pose, Utkatasana. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, heart to the horizon, shoulder blades together, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold down. Plant the hands, inhale, step both feet back to plank. Chaturanga, shift your weight forward, spike the heels, navel in, hover for a second, elbows on top of the wrists, inhale, choose your vinyasa, cobra, or upward facing dog. Exhale, root of the legs up and back, downward facing dog. Good, big toes to touch. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, bend the knee in and through, plant the toes next to the thumb, straight to high lunge, navel to spine, press the feet down, inhale, rise up. Five rounds here, sink into that front knee. Two more. Last one in. Exhale, dive down. Plant the hands. Inhale, set the right foot back. Chaturanga practice. Shift your weight forward. Hover for a second. Inhale. Choose your vinyasa, cobra, or upward facing dog. Make sure you shine your heart. Exhale, root of the legs up and back. Downward facing dog. Pull your navel in. 
Grow in through the spine. As you exhale, bring the big toes to touch. Inhale, left foot up, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the knee in and through. Toes next to the thumb. Straight to high lunge. Inhale, rise up, navel to spine. Five rounds here. If you want to take a variation, you can take the twist. You can put your hands on your hips. If your arms are suffering a bit, you can interlace your hands behind the back. Two more rounds here. Squeeze the inner thighs together, last round in. Exhale, dive down, plant the hands, last chaturanga. Inhale, step the left foot back. I'm gonna start from half plank, I'm a bit tired now. Shift your weight forward, hover for a second, and inhale, choose your vinyasa. Exhale, root of the legs up and back, downward facing dog. Five rounds. Find some stillness here for the last three. Last round in. And exhale, walk your feet to meet your hands. Standing forward fold. Inhale, heart to the horizon, halfway lift. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold down. Straight to chair, inhale, sit down, sweep the roots of your arms up, shoulder blades together down the back, sink a little deeper into the chair, sink a little deeper, navel to spine, and exhale, stand up, hands to the side, mountain pose. Good. Come to lie flat on your back with the knees bent like we're going to come into bridge. Okay. If you're interested in watching me demonstrate, I would recommend you do that first and then I will give you some time to express yourself in wheel. But let me show you what this will look like first before you try it out, okay? So here we go, starting as if we're going to come into bridge, feet close to the hips, nice distance between the feet, okay? Maybe a little bit wider than usual. Bring the hands up and over. Bend them. Bring the fingertips under the shoulder blades. Or under the shoulders, sorry. Elbows are pointing up. Make sure your fingers are nice and wide. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to press up and then sort of stand on my head. Just, to, but I will not drop any weight on my head. Okay. I'm still always pressing through the shoulders. Bring most of your attention to press through the shoulders. Breathe in and press into the feet and the shoulders. I lift up. I just touch my head down, make sure I'm nice and comfy, and then press again through my hands and the shoulders. Bring my shoulder blades together down the back. Press my feet down firmly. Okay, you can see what this looks like. Great. And as you lower yourself down, do it very slowly. Be very careful of your spine and your neck and your head. Lower down to the ground. Okay. When you're up in wheel, spend maybe a few rounds of breath, three to five. Okay. So I'll walk you through it one more time. Start as if we come into, into bridge. Feet right by the fingertips. Send those fingertips under the shoulders. Fingertips nice and wide. Elbows pointing straight up, breathe in, and simultaneously press through the hands and the feet, just so you can bring your head out. Then press through the hands and shoulders, press the feet down firmly, send your navel to your spine, shoulder blades together down the back. Hmm. This is so good. Maybe your legs are shaking like mine. That's natural. Keep pressing through the shoulders and release down to the mat. Roll the spine gently down. Untuck the hands, open them out to the sides. Hug your knees into your chest. You can rock from side to side here. 
Maybe you want to take a happy baby, sending the feet up, holding onto the outside edges of the feet, elbows onto the inside edges of the knees. Finding length in the spine. And now we're going to start resting. Okay. Place your feet on the earth. Bring the bottoms of the feet together. Let the knees open wide. Supta Baddha Konasana. Shoulder blades together down the back. Let's take 20 rounds of breath here. like to you can send your hands long overhead for a bit of a shoulder opener you can build yourself a little bit of a installation to rest back on for your back if you like with some cushions uh, maybe pillows blocks books maybe just the couch Last 10 rounds here. Last five. Last one in. And bring your hands to the outside edges of the legs. Close your knees like a book. And let's sit up. Extend the feet away, flex the toes towards your face. Feet can be together or hip width distance apart. Maybe your knees are bent like mine. Find length through the spine. Flex the toes, root of the arms up, inhale. And exhale, fold over the knees. Imagine you're finding length through the spine as if you were a rainbow. Hold up to the ankles, the outside edges of the feet or the toes. Don't let your head sag. Keep your head and back of the neck nice and long in alignment with the rest of your spine. Growing over the legs. Tilting the pelvis forward. Let's take five more rounds here. Slow, gentle release in Pashi Mottanasana. West side facing forward fold. Two more. Last one in. And exhale, release the hands, roll the spine up. Bring the left knee, bend the left knee, the left foot into the groin. Keep the right leg extended. Then drop the left knee out to the side, find length of the spine and fold over the right leg. Just take a few rounds here, flexing the right toes, relaxing the left knee down. And if your knee is bent, don't worry about it. No such thing as perfection in yoga. Last run in, and let's release. Bring the right knee in, send the left leg out. Maybe it's bent, maybe not right foot into the groin right knee opens out to the side inhale find length of the spine and exhale fold over the leg Whew, that's a bit tight just a couple more here a 
lost two. Keep your shoulder blades away from your ears. And on an exhale, press into the hands, lifting up the chest. Let's take a twist and then we'll take Shavasana. Come to lie on your back, bring your knees into your chest. I'm going to switch this way. And if it's chilly by you, as I'm sure it's going to be soon, maybe you get that jersey. We've got a blanket nearby. Got your socks. Maybe you got a cat. Take that cat and put it on you. Put that cat on you. Okay, <clears throat> let's lie flat on our backs. <sighs> Open the arms up to the sides. Knees come up. Make sure your back is nice and flat. Breathe in. And exhale, send the knees over to the left side. Make sure you stack your hips, one on top of the other, the right one right on top, and then let the arm open out to the side. If your right shoulder comes up off the ground, that's okay, because we've stacked the hips and we're twisting in this low, low, low back. Relax into this, relax the belly. Last round here, inhale, and as you exhale, navel to spine to lift the knees, come back to center, maybe you place your feet down, check your spine is nice and straight before we twist to the other side. Okay, hug the knees in, just a bit, open the arms up to the side, breathe in, and exhale, send the knees over to the left, I mean, sorry, excuse me, the right left hip on top of the right hip bring your left hand to your your sacrum and feel if it's perpendicular to the earth and then if the left shoulder is off the ground that's okay look up or over your left shoulder two rounds Last one in, and as you exhale, pull the navel into the spine, engage the core to lift the knees, bring your feet flat on the mat, make sure your lower back is nice and comfortable, we're now going to take Shavasana, so if you've got lower back problems, as I know some of you do, um, you can keep your knees bent, 